how we configured the menus so that the right menu items show up depending upon whether the person's logged in, logged out, and depending upon which membership level they have. So we always recommend that we include a menu item to go back to the site in case someone arrived here meaning to go to the www site. It's just a convenience thing. Uh, this only shows up when you're logged out. So I'm going to log in as one of my test accounts. This is the person that only has access to course level three. They see log out my account. When they mouse over current programs, they see course three, which corresponds to this course and then the dashboard. Uh, just so you see another example, I'll go here. Uh, Larry here only has access to course two, so that's who they see in the dropdown. If Larry had had access to, let's say, one and two, you would see two in the dropdown. So how do we get this all to work? Um, so the first thing I want to point out is that we have a plugin installed. It's called Menu Items Visibility Control. We'll use that in some cases. I'll just show you uh, now. So we have the dashboard. Now, we the, the Visibility Control plugin gives us this additional window where we can put conditions. So we can keep people out of this if someone's logged in or logged out. We don't need to do that to the dashboard because the dashboard is only available to people who are logged in and have access to one of the membership levels. Uh, the same is true for, let's say, these courses. These courses are all protected so that they can only be seen by members with the appropriate membership level, and that's level one, two, and three. The My Accounts page is protected. It can only be seen by people who are logged in. And um, the Go to Main isn't protected. So this is a link. There's nothing inside of WordPress or Memberium to let us know how to protect this. So we use this syntax. It's a function that says, is the user logged in? Now, what we want to say is this is a programmer's convention for not. So if they're not logged in, and you just have to remember that this is the way you type it, uh, then I don't want this if you're not logged in, show this. Otherwise, don't show it. So once I'm logged in, it disappears. The logout is the same. This is the logout um, syntax for Memberium. This comes out of one of the um, documentation. If you want to look it up, you can. But again, we don't have any information about when to show it, when not to show it based on the protection of each page. So we have to add the is user logged in function, which works with the membership plugin to make this item either appear or not appear. But the nice thing about this is you are assigning these features only if there's nothing to go by. Now, for example, if you look at the site, the way it works, this item here is only there so we can mouse over it. There's no value. You can't click on it. So this one here, it doesn't have a URL, which is the reason why you can't click on it, but we have to overtly tell it, is the user logged in? Okay. So only the ones that are custom links need those values. The other ones appear and disappear based upon the value that's uh, set in the protection for the page. Now, one last thing, you could decide not to protect these pages and then have a redirection happen when somebody arrives on the menu page, uh, on the page from a menu, and then have the page redirect based on that. Uh, but the, you know that's kind of an additional topic I'll cover uh, in another video. Uh, this is what you need to set up the menus for the course.